Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. I have an announcement to make. With Friend Life shutting down, just to let you know, if you like my videos, and if you don't want to lose my videos, if you would like, if you would like, to hit the subscribe button. You can even download my videos. I mean, not only you have my permission, but you have God's permission to download my videos. With Friend Life shutting down, which is a website that I, that I share my videos on, just just to let you know, even though they shut it down, I will be making my videos as long as God wants me to. No matter what website shuts down or what other websites going to shut down, as long as God wants me to make my videos, I will make my videos. This is the reasons why I advise you don't wait till next week because you never know when this could be your last video. Today I would like to talk about jobs from the Bible. Romans 3.23 and just because it says in the Bible we are all sinners. Does that give us a right to do what we want at our jobs? Okay, I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. See, that means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. Mistakes, not purpose. There's a difference between mistakes and purpose. Mistakes is when you do something on accident and didn't mean to do it. Purpose is when you do it just to do it. Like, for an example, Last week, when I made my video about what is the difference between respecting and disrespecting a man. Well, anyway, last week, I forgot to wish all the, all the dads a happy Father's Day. That's why I put the words on my video last week to wish the dad's a happy Father's Day. But, here's the thing. Just because I made that one mistake doesn't mean I can give up on my videos or start making my videos and start doing what I want on my videos. Just because I made that mistake. I have to keep doing what I'm doing do and try to do better on my video from St. Rhea's Medical Center when I used to work on grounds. And this is what my mentor told me. Do better than yesterday. Just because you made one little mistake doesn't mean you can make that mistake all over ne the next day. You have to try to fix that mistake and if you can't be, be fixed, forget about the mistake and just move on. For an example about Friend Life, just because Friend Life gave up doesn't mean I should give up making my videos. I mean as long as God wants me to, I'm going to keep making my videos. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing, worry about what you should do. at your jobs. 
don't go and start doing what you want at your jobs. Just because it says in the Bible that we all have sinned. It doesn't mean we can get up tomorrow and go do something bad at our jobs. Like, it, it doesn't go, give me a right to get up tomorrow morning and go to church since tomorrow's Sunday and start messing up on purpose because I want to and start being bad and acting up and act like a two-year-old in church. That doesn't mean I should do that. That verse doesn't give us a right to do it. You mess up, you do better than yesterday. And it's time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 verse 23. I know we just read that, but I would like you to go there again. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. Not purpose, mistakes. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse for you. And that is Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing though. I would like to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10. We'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come to your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week. Like I said, this could be your last video. You never know. So don't wait till next week. Don't wait till the, the next video. Alright, let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed with me, you are now saved. I would like to go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us a true life. And this life is in His Son. He who does not have the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you, who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have a true life. And that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so. It's a no so. 
I would like you to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28. And I give them material life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. No one cannot take away from God. No one cannot. I would like you to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the, Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have committed you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved. Baptism is not going to get you to heaven. I would like you to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I would like you to First Peter chapter two and verse two. As newborn babes are the poor milk of the world, that you may go thereby. I like to go to Philippines chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Be access for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God. This is precious. All understanding will guard your heart and mind to Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. I like you to John chapter 3 and verse 16. That will be the last verse for the day. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, since the 4th of July is next Tuesday. Not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. Next week, I would like to talk about who started the 4th of July. I'd like to talk about that next week. Goodbye, everyone.